Hello everyone, my name is Chasrock and in this video I will be teaching you guys everything about the breaker. I will be cutting this section into three parts. Uh, first is job trees and affinities. Next will be strategy showcase. I will be fighting a certain enemy and uh, teach you how to properly use the job itself and some of the tips I know. And lastly is a build suggestion. Now uh, you can always make your own build in this one as long as you have the right stats and affinities you want to. Uh, these are just my point of view or opinion about what most stat mainly focus on the job itself. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, breaker. Uh, let's see what the breaker gives. It's basically the job of Odin. If you know Odin from the famous uh, swordsman in the katana user on the Final Fantasy series. Where's the breakers? Yo, where's the breaker? There you go. Breaker has hunted Suken where you slash enemies and dealing heavy break damage, heavy damages. And this also scale with strength and slash attack. Also enemies dies and zero HP zero HP or broken will be eliminated by the uh will be dead will be dead by a soul burst. And also you are summoning the sort of uh the sword of Odin, I think. So let's get started about the job trees. And you can actually use a gun in this one. Uh, uh, great sword, katana, sword, axe, uh, lance, and gu gun. So yeah, about the job trees. Let's see. The um, Zantetsuken Mastery. Yes. I think that it's the one that gives the debuff. Inflicts enemy defense down. Charging will extend the duration and duration and the amount of tier. It is basically like the Marauders upheaval but there's no decrease on damage. Uh, there's no decrease on their damage, only the defense itself. So also Zantatsuke needs two bars for you to activate it. Oh yeah. So here are the passive stats of Breaker. Action ability, epicos reduction, physical damage and ability break damage. And your abilities you can unlock are Star 4 from Max. Quick pivot from Max, Kogetsu from Katana, if I'm not mistaken, this is the... Yo, there you go. And I think there's another one. Oh wait. Uh, the Willing Vertex from the uh, Lance, okay? So, the links are... For third links are... The third links of Greatsword. Uh, Greatsword. Uh, uh, Katana's third link and Senshin third link. And there's another third link for the Lance. Which is enemies broken zero HP, enemies broken or both zero HP will be end with soul burst. And the next link will be forward for the katana, uh, great sword and lance, which is the increased attack speed. This is double lance. I think there's the third link. This is the third link of the axe. This is the forward link of the uh, the great sword, which increases attack speed, and this is the other one. Uh, this is the for this is the forward link of the axe. Okay. And the forward link of the sword. Hey, katana, I mean. This increase attack speed. I, I should take note of this and I can use it from the future builds. And the command ability you can get is the overpower. Let's see. The overpower is a projectile, but for you to activate this, is you need to use the, your light bringer. And also, uh, it removes the depletion of the light bringer duration. Even though it feels at 100%. It will basically use everything on it and launch it. Now I haven't made a build out of this. I think it's the damage is scale on intellect, but I do know it's also from strength because it removes your light bringer. I think this is good if you want to remove the light bringer and activate a new one for you to be safe. But I think that's just my point of view. I haven't touched this so much. So yeah, let's go about the you know. Also, I've got some so I can actually charge for three charges. Three links. Next will be Evocation Ultima, as you can see. They have difference on the links, but same stats. For the Evocation, we got... We only got a new for the Axe, which is the rare. Increased physical damage dealt, while the Ultima has two links more. Which is the, from the Katana, Parry Link, Increased Parry Damage dealt, and also for... Enables for the Lance, which is the Charge Attack. Uh, enables Charge... Uh, enables Earlier Dodging, okay? So let's see the, the difference between the Evocation Ultima uh, job ability for the Evocation. Uh, 
increase the area increase the range of it the area and the range actually see that that's really good compare it to the normal one which is oh shit comparing it to the normal which is this one so basically you twice the power oh no it's not twice it's the range it becomes way bigger like way way longer see that range is ridiculous for the ultima uh, the charge of the sentetsu okay, is now at 4 Ding! and it's red the slash is also color red to indicate that you are using the ultima ultima sentetsu okay. so yeah so let's see what the affinity as the breaker does because this is actually a main on strength stat see strength strength and then soul burst mp recovery strength soul burst mp recovery and strength <laughs> and applies additional strength to all combo ability stat bonuses and this is the one of the part, great parts of it is that uh, increase your break increase damage dealt when you perform a soul burst maximum of of it is a maximum of a about five stacks so, yeah, with the uh, du duration also and when you soul shield it increases your strength with the max of 20 stack yeah, as well wait where's how though oh wait i should do so so that uh, so that my sword abilities will be more powerful so yeah that's about it so let's go fight some enemies boss give me like more bosses Bo yeah sure uh showing okay this is 3000 so that's like this is 2800 i guess i can go for here okay let's give it a try so if you want a uh odin job then go for the <laughs> breaker that's basically the focus of the breaker and also breaker has a great amount of heavy dealing damage dealt and damage break so let's get started of course see that <laughs> and I have the debuff see there's a debuff of the damage reduction damage taken their defense will their defense on physical and magical greatly reduce because of the Zendetsu and mastery If you want to use the third link, which is also good, if you want to use the 600 samurai, that will be also good. But I'm good with this. I think I still can still optimize this more. But I think I optimize this for the charge, uh, charge reduction duration. See, the animation is still not done, but the charge is so complete because of the charge damage reduction, the charge reduction. There you go. Also, I'm using Quest Bringer so I can basically spam this and it's okay. The forward link is also good for the faster charge if you want to put the. If you want to put the Zantetsuken over there, because you can use, you can always put your job ability in the other links, not just a uh, single simple press of our of your job ability itself. I see a lot of people do th does that where they put Zantetsuken on some of the links but for me, I can go with the normal ones. And always remember that there are some certain enemies that are too weak to some certain attacks. Like Malboro is weak to Slash so Zantetsuken will be a good one. And some of our enemies are actually slash resistant, like the Kraiklo, the Scorpion big one. is actually big resistant for the slash. Even if you use Zantetsuken on that one, you can still absorb it and don't get staggered. And also, this is on strength. If you want to increase the break damage of that, you might want to invest on slash break or critical break or ability break damage or 
charge attack break damage. There's a lot to, for you to customize in this one. Okay, so let's get. Let's go uh, see. And I'm gonna. Uh, the summon stats per 100 are all, 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 all listed for the. On the description or the list. Uh, and I kinda don't want to talk about more, but I don't. I, be, I do believe that it's on Odin and Ifrit. And I think there's also Alexander, but it's on the list if you want to check it out. I kinda want to focus those stats. Per 100. That's why some of the other builds that I show are just basically a summary, but yeah. Okay, so let's go for these uh, affinity suggestion. Of course, the very first one are the 400 of your basic job. If you're using a great sword, uh, swordsman, katanas, ronin, marauder for axe, uh, lancer for lance, of course, lancer for lance, and marksman for gun. Okay. So, so I will be focusing my build for strength as affinities. So uh, 600 warrior. If you want max HP, more physical damage, reduce the max break rate for enemy weaknesses and reduce MP cost ability for combo abilities. This also work for the Zantet in itself. Uh, increase the res corresponding. Hey, wait. I think it's not. Co I'm not sure if this work for the co the job ability itself. So, but the combo ability also works. So yeah. Uh, strength and stamina stat and the wall break damage. Next will be Berserker. Berserker 600 if you want to activate all of the Lightbringer. Especially when you're fighting uh, normal enemies, when you use a Tetsuken, all of them when die, when 0 HP or uh, broken, you will uh, everything will uh, end with the Soul Burst, so you will always gain a uh, Lightbringer duration. Uh, gradually restores MP when your Lightbringer is active and automatically grants protection for your death. Strength and stamina stat and refuse breakage and damage there. Next is 600 monk. Uh, 600 monk deals great damage for you. You have a great amount of HP. 400 gives you more HP and increase buff duration of your pa of all your party. And a balance stat and balance stat for strength, stamina, agility and break 100%. 100 increase your breakage. I also forgot I will be also recommending a uh, agility stat on this one. Agility builds. And so yeah, dragoon. Dragoon 600 if you want to recover HP MP when dealing enemy weaknesses. If you want to perform a Zentetsuken and recover a great amount of HP, uh, MP, use this. And with the Lancet as well if you want to increase it more. Increase light speed, increase attack speed when Lightbringer is active. Uh, enemies broke, well, can, well this kind of not works for Zentetsuken. For the combo abilities, it will work as well. Uh, strike an agility stat and increase your break de break damage on enemy weaknesses. And of course, 600 samurai. If you want to use more critical, go for the links, especially for the third link, forward link, and yeah, a rare link as well. Those are you want to use this if you want to go for the critical. For 400, when you perform puff, when you successful parry, your next ability will be critical hit. Temporary increase when damage dealt after chain cancer. Uh, strike an agility stat and. Uh, reduce action MP ability because especially when the passive stat of the breaker has this one, it will increase it more. But there's a cap, you cannot always have a 100% action ability camp because even if you have that stat, it's not true because it's impossible, it's kind of broken if you got 100% and uh, all of your ability can just spam everything. Next is Hunter 600 Hunter deals more additional, deals more break damage according to your. Agility when hitting enemy weaknesses. Restore MP fixed amount of regardless of damage dealt. Makes it easier to perform from the bind. And I do, be, I do believe this increases the critical damage as well. Uh, strength, agility, intellect, and reface breakage on damage dealt when exploiting enemy weaknesses. Dark Knight 600 if you want to recover HP for your normal attacks. Uh, all effects triggered by native dead are always active now. 250 increases your damage dealt when enemies targeting you. Uh, strength, intellect stat, and some HP, and increase damage dealt when you're dead. Next is Ninja. Ninja, after avoiding enemy attack evade, restore MP. So if you want to, especially when you can charge attack and you can evade, when you use that, you recover MP as well. Uh, all ability uh, temporarily decrease when you break cash recovery. Uh, all ability will temporarily decrease enemies break cash recovery. So all ability, even jump ability, there will be debuff that your break cash will not recover fast enough. Critical hits reduce the max breakage, of course, and a great amount of agility, and there are some spirit, intellect, and strength. Where uh, when you flick an enemy with the ailment, all of your normal MP, normal MP recovery rates will be 
attack normal attack and percal bullets will increase 600 assassin of course 600 for faster uh, 600 for more agility when a soul shield uh, increase break damage the longer you take net damage and this also stay with the job other job you have applies an additional agility bonus to all combo abilities and agility stat but there's some stamina and intellect and this break gauge cost of successful soul shield yeah okay breaker yeah of course breaker <laughs> <laughs> I just said breaker dude. Uh, summoner 600 for more powerful blessing. Uh, 400 successful soul shield increases the duration of your uh, buffs. And sustain epic cost. Uh, this may not work depending on your weapon. But Santa token doesn't need actually this. So yeah. Uh, balance build but more on intellect. There's some um, strength, spirit, and agility. Increase MP when you chain cancel. Uh, I think gambler is alright. Gambler is uh, more on luck but yeah. 600 increase time break damage that the effect is more powerful with less MP. All attacks have a small chance to become critical hits. And occasional nullifies depending on your luck. Of uh, course, uh, luck stats and random MP recovery and chain cancel. And 600 summoner, right? Uh, 600, sorry. 600 cyclic warrior. Of course, so the when you success when you perform a light bring, all of your soul shield and soul burst will be activated as well. Uh, using a uh, soul burst while that bringer is active, increase hits duration. Increase your MP limit for 200 when you're below MP. Uh, strength and stamina stat, but there's some intellect. And increase that damage to max breakage of the enemy. So that's about it. If you want to copy my build, here's one. This is, yeah, uh, I actually optimized this and it's so good this one for the charge time. And yeah, the dam I have some damage there on this one. Oh yeah, baby. This is basically a chaos bringer build. Same with my, uh, same with my, uh, Ronin. Oh wait, I forgot the. So here's my master points. Uh, mostly on strength, and there's some. I think I, I think I can change this. And yeah, here the damage stat, light bringer duration, so we're simply So yeah. And lastly is the masters for the rift. Uh, masters that they use, they use that I use are. Howl for the Ronin, uh, Lenny, Serena, Dawn, and Mid. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.